swear on your bed. I look at his eyes. Put your put your right hand up. Put your right hand up. I swear. my bed. I swear. God above, this man is lying. We got one of the squads that's involved in a room set up. Uh, and uh, when we do those uh, operations, we're specifically targeting uh, outcall entertainment dancers, uh, the services. We're going to use a couple of detectives as, uh, as the undercovers, uh, a male detective and also one of our female detectives, posing as a husband wife. Hi, I'd like to see about having someone come up to your room. Uh, my husband. Yeah. Um, Geez, I don't know what kind of choices to. Yeah, there's a girl in the phone book that looks pretty. Um, she's blonde. Okay, thanks. Well, what'd they say? She said it's 150 tipping is appreciated. Really? Yeah. Cool. Got to do with that figure. That'll work. It's his birthday tomorrow. Can you do seven? Altogether. It's gonna be down. Sounds like she's reading off a card. One more second. Just so we have them close. Oh yeah, we know her. Ray, we know her from the Mirage. We just got her last week. Wow. She's beautiful. This is what we talk about when we talk about the Mirage. She is beautiful. Really? Yeah. Oh. So what the hell? Hey, Dad! What are you doing, buddy? Good. Well, you to be quiet. Too. You do. Quiet. Oh, shush, everybody be quiet. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Come here, young lady. Just I will. I'll come with you. Very close. You know me. I know, Sam. Just relax. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Let me. Come here. Come here. Okay. To relax. Oh, okay, can I just go get dressed? Yeah. Yeah. Sandra, just relax. Can I go get dressed, please? Yeah. She can go for conspiracy to commit prostitution. Sandra, please. 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 Sandra, I'm gonna I'm give her. Christine, what is she into us for? 1300 total, Ray. Just two weeks ago, we, we arrested her in the same How many counts did we get? Three counts. Three counts on our same thing. Yeah, no, we had four last four. time. Four of us. Yeah. Okay, you got it all? Yep, and I'm gonna double count right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, I've got all the 15 that we okay. originally started with. Okay. And 100 of that was in her bra when she came in, so we're good to go. We got one in route still from class A. Okay, uh, okay. Ray. Cool. We'll have props for the next one. Yeah. So. Well, let's, let's get out, so we, the next one should be coming. Call and request oh, Stacy for pictures in the phone book. Yeah. Sweetie, you already burned us over the phone when you threw your fit. When you were throwing your fit in the room, the phone girl right. called. All right. All right. Later. Hi. 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 Oh, we I, thought, I, thought, I thought I got them in trouble. <laughs> they have gone downstairs to pick up the prostitute, and they're back in the hotel room. Mm -hmm. Is that? I'm probably going to want to double my regular prices. Like, okay. what, what are you looking for? Tell me what you want to be into, and I'll tell you, because my regular prices are... Well, I guess the deal is down. Exactly. Read it down like a menu. Exactly. I, I don't mean to embarrass you, but I, uh, do you have male parts and... And female parts, or I mean, yeah. uh, no, I'm pre out transsexual, meaning that I have breath, live as a woman stuff. I still have male genitalia. Okay. I'm not a her mouth Okay. Yeah. Room service. Room service. Did you order? Hi there. Oh, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Did you order this uh, chicken here? Yeah, I'm sorry. Much revised. Oh, uh, darn. Man, can you around. believe that? You don't have any weapons with you or anything, do you? No. Okay, why don't you do me a favor, stand up, and come on over here. When was the last time you got arrested? I've never been arrested. Never, ever, for anything. How long have you been Never. doing this? Since I was 14. 
Does it show you as a male or female? Female. On, female? On your ID? On my ID. On the Nevada ID? It has since I was 16. Okay. Is this a pretty good paying occupation? Does yeah, I'm trying to save up for my surgery. I have a regular day job. I just need to get my surgery done and over, then I don't know how else to do it. Okay, we're off. We're off to see the wizard. We're going to take you down to the Clark County Detention Center and we're going to draw a sample of blood from you to okay. test you for the HIV virus. Okay. It's part of the arresting procedure. Okay. Thank you for being nice. I can't believe this. Oh, we're nice guys. Okay, let me explain to you what's going to go on here, all right? As you all know, you're in a high-risk category, you know? You're in a high-risk group. Right next to intravenous drug users, you're like number one up in there. All right? And we've got 250 girls in Vegas that have the AIDS virus, you know, and they're out there doing this thing. You have good veins? Yes. Yeah, okay. Do you use drugs at all? No. no? Intravenous or otherwise? No. Okay. Now, if you do have AIDS, after this, it's a felony crime, okay? And it's a mandatory prison term for you. You realize now we know who you are, right? You can you can still work for the service, honestly. Yeah. No. Yeah. Basically, all she was trying to do was get money together to have uh, an operation to uh, change her into a female. You know, but they're still out here breaking the law, and somebody's got to keep them in check. One of the reasons we do operations like this, particularly here in uh, Las Vegas, is we're trying to get the word out also. Uh, not so much to our locals, but more so to, our, uh, to the tourists across the country, that prostitution is not legal. Uh, there really is a, a misconception uh, uh, amongst the tourists uh, that uh, this is Sin City and that everything goes, but uh, we don't stand for it, and uh, our officers are out there aggressively trying to clean up the streets of prostitutes. What's going on? Not me. I don't want to go <laughs> Not for him, he doesn't want to go to jail. Is it proper to negotiate out here, or do we have to go? No, it's, what, what you looking for? Um, we may have gotten somebody like straight. right now. You know, like I said, uh, whatever. I can do that. What you got for me? Um, got, I think, 140. Damn. OK. Right. Actually, wait, that'd be 130 because I need taxi. <laughs> he needs some, he needs some money for himself. No, I, I forgot about the taxi back. <laughs> All right, well, that sounds good to me. Okay. I got a room right over here, okay? So you're in town from where? I'm from California. Uh, we certainly get these conventioneers that are looking for a little bit of extracurricular activities, and uh, this is a perfect example, obviously. Desert. Come on in. Something's wrong with that, you know? No kidding. Yeah. Just have hey, to brother. Hey, put your hands up. Turn around. You got any weapons on? No, I don't. Well, I'm going to have you do. This is a misdemeanor citation, okay? Mm -hmm. First of all, by signing this, this is not an admission of guilt. Yeah. While you're signing that citation, answer me this. Uh, you understand why we do operations yes. like this? I mean, a lot of these girls that work the streets, have sexually transmitted diseases. Did you have a condom on you? No, and actually, if she didn't have one, I wouldn't have done it. I mean, you would have come in this uh, in this room, she would have gotten naked, and then you would have been able to turn around without having sex with her after you paid $140? I, I mean, yes. I, I wouldn't have paid it. I mean, I would have, I almost asked out front about, you know. But you, but you did. No, I did not. I figured, you know. They don't care. I, they just want the cash. I'll check. Make sure you get all your money. Yeah, I trust you, gents. And now you got plenty of money for cab fare. Okay? Call it a night. Good night. She's coming out again, and uh, hopefully we will get another uh, interested customer here shortly. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's enjoying this, I think. I think she's enjoying this, actually. And we have somebody pulling over right now. Obviously, the important part in, in, in an operation like this is that our UC has to be convincing in her role. If she acts like a cop at all, it's going to uh, make the potential John suspicious. I'll go mine, you'll go yours. What's she interested in? Just killing time. OK. How much are you going to pay me to just kill time? We'll trade. No, man. I'm working out here. I told you that. I got to earn a living here. 
This guy has definitely been doing this before. He uh, either has been arrested before. No, that's why I'm standing here like this, because oh, I'm watching for cops. I'm take this. I'm going to phone. This looks like we're on the phone. You look like a waitress, actually. Thank you. She looks I used like to a do waitress. That, but I think I can make more money doing this, unless you people like, like you don't want it for free. I well, think not. I don't want it for free. I just don't want to talk about it. It's embarrassing. Well. Yeah, hey, look, this, this guy's uh, he's saying he's embarrassed to talk about it, yet he's out well, here trying to pick up a street door. Do you ever get in the shower and I can do that. Okay, let's go. Yeah. yeah. For forty bucks, right? Yeah. Okay. So, well come on, I got a shower. I'm not goodbye. Take him for loitering at least anyway. Let's go get him, Leo. Let me get my purse. Let's see your hands. Take your hands out. You just ate? Yeah, you're yeah. looking for a little bit of companionship. When I saw that, I made it turned right around. What was it you saw? A woman who was half naked. Get your hands on the hood. Let him I do his job. And prescription. Oh. I was hoping she'd come home with me. I didn't care about anything else. This is really my. Freddie, you got your cuffs? Yes. There you go. Okay, put your hands behind. I have a heart condition, which isn't a big deal, but I can feel it coming on, and as you know, I'm out of medication. I had to lie down. Well, yeah, no, it's a bit it, unconventional, but if that, makes, if that makes you feel a little bit better, you we can do that. Pull under here, you? Sir? Do you want to pull under here? No, I just, I'd like to get the handcuffs off. Yeah, we're going to get, get you a pillow. Okay, does we're, anybody want to know my point of view on this? There you go. We're here to please. Okay, tell us your story. No, I'm sitting there talking about Eddie Murphy. Uh huh. And saying that uh, I got to take his word for it because what you know, I don't know nothing. I see someone who is half naked. I mean, she is not what you would call a toothless wonder. You know what I'm saying? I see. Hey, let me ask you: Have you ever been with any toothless wonders? Yeah, my for girlfriend. For comparison purposes. My girlfriend. Your girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. Well, you have an opportunity to go to court. Hey. And you know something? You may even be able to lie down in court also in this well, position. I lost it. Uh, oh. Ouch. Hey, it's an experience to be handcuffed. Now I know. These are your keys right there? Yeah. All right, your car's over so, there. What time can I call you? You can call me tomorrow afternoon. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a satisfied customer. A uh, satisfied customer. Hopefully he's going to learn something from that. Tonight is a uh, operation uh, addressing uh, street prostitution. And uh, we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, we're using a, uh, a borrowed uh, taxi cab that uh, we got uh, uh, through the uh, uh, taxi cab authority here locally. What we do in these uh, operations is that uh, our guys are out here scouting out locations, some of the hot spots, and uh, if they see somebody that they think is working, uh, then we uh, guide our undercover uh, to that location so that they can make a contact and hopefully get a soliciting. And that's kind of what we're uh, hearing right now, actually, is one of our guys has spotted somebody. Hi. Hey, Alan. How are we doing? Good, how are you? Uh, I'd be better. How are we doing? Good. Good. Go back I'm Sarah. Room. Sarah? Mm-hmm. I'm Steve. Nice to, meet nice to meet you, Steve. What do you do for a living? Hopefully uh, we'll see a signal here soon. And we'll uh, bust her out. Oh. What happened? Oh, yes. You had the phone? I'm not. I ain't the phone. I'm watching to make that turn. How do? How you doing, officer? Young fella. How you doing? Good. The taxi authority? What's up? Is you here? Yeah, yeah that's me. Who are these people in the back? Who are the folks back here? Oh, you? we're just going to the MGM. Going to the MGM? Hi. How are you? Hi. Fine. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Who? No, not Mr. No. and Mrs. No. Uh, no. Oh, excuse me. I was asked to share the cab ride. Is it's it a prostitution thing, Look, sir? I don't want any problems. All right, yeah, well, tell me what's going on. Problems. I was going to take her to my room. You're going to do what? We're just going to go to my room. Go to your room? Yeah. What were you going to do there? said she was going to have sex. I did not say well, that. You are lying. I did not say that. You did know I what? say He's that? Sneaky hey, I don't, hey, don't want to get him off. Swear on my badge. I, I, I swear don't on I your look, badge. I look, I look he is lying. lying. Put your, put your right hand lying. up. Put your right hand up. I swear, swear on my badge. I swear, he's, he's God above, this man is lying. And there wasn't going to be no prostitution I did that not kind of say stuff. not one word about sex. I know, he's sex. too sneaky looking. Let me not see your ID. Would you? Now swear on his badge. I did not say one word about sex, and you know that. Did I? Yes, she did. Don't no, I didn't. Can I, can I leave? 
Can you guys say I didn't say it? one word about sex. I think we know enough. I didn't say one word about sex, though. You got any kids? Yes, I do. How many kids? Three. What's it going to take for you to get back to New Mexico with your kids? Because that's really where we are. We don't want to see you here. We don't want to have to re-arrest you. What's it going to take? Well, see, the only thing is, is that when I get there, I have no place to go. Because uh, my father and I, well, basically, he doesn't acknowledge my existence. And I'm not allowed in his house or on his property. Yeah. Um, There's got to be people that will help you out, organizations back in there. Back in New Mexico. I don't have anything back there. We're giving you a bit of a break tonight. You're only going to get a citation. I want you to think about it, all right? All right. See, I'm going to the lot, and if I get her, I'm going to take her uh, north and east. Am I? That'll work. North and east. Okay, well, he just kind of scared me out there because I just I knew he was the police. <laughs> I don't need it tonight. No. Okay, um, everything, you know, um, Okay. This one was pretty quick. She solicited it right away, and uh, taxi's pulling in to City Hall, and uh, she'll have a short walk to jail. Damn, damn it. Well, we're down at the polling station, and I'm probably going to jail for soliciting. This isn't the norm usually, but uh, this gal here is so asleep. He's undercover, you're undercover, and he's undercover. So we're, I'm going to jail for soliciting. Nothing much, sir. No. Nah. Going to jail for soliciting. Oh, you're going to jail for soliciting? Oh. We, we kind of figured that out, didn't we? I bet you you got some kids, don't you? 29-year-old daughter and four beautiful grandchildren. You have a 29-year-old daughter and four beautiful grandchildren, and you're working as a prostitute. Why? Well, for one thing, I'm going for social services. Well, I had an appointment for in the morning. I'm homeless and I was trying to get me some money so I can lay my head down. People often uh, think that uh, prostitution uh, is a victimless crime, and uh, the bottom line is it's uh, the furthest thing from a victimless crime. There are so many victims. We got two at Seventh and Fremont. Uh, obviously, the first victim is uh, is the prostitute themselves, uh, who uh, oftentimes uh, uh, enter uh, this life at a very young age. It robs them of their youth. But a white girl back at the white top, black shorts. We just directed them to a gal that was walking here on Fremont Street on the lower end of Fremont. She looks uh, kind of young. Signal, yeah, he's in the lot. Okay, I'll let you take him. Hello, Mr. Hey, Carter. How old are you? 20. You're 20 years old? Are you? How long have you been in town? A couple of months. A couple of months? I see. How long have you been working the streets? Something's going on. I'm 13. Since you were 13, you've been working the streets? Mm-hmm. Why don't you come on out, Sabrina? You came here to work the streets here. Pretty we're going to just uh, check, uh, make sure you don't have any warrants or anything like that, all right? Uh, you've been doing this for seven years. What got you into it? That young man across the street, the black guy across the street, short. That's your pimp. Your pimp. Yeah. How long you been with him? Obviously, you're not happy about the lifestyle you're choosing. Uh, look at your tears. So go oh, ahead. Uh, you, you ain't got no warrant, so you don't have to worry about that tonight, all right? No but I am concerned about what this son of a gun is doing to you. Now, what did he do to you when uh, you when both of you guys got out of jail? <laughs> uh, he beat me with a lot. He beat you with a wire. And baby boy. And what? And baby boy. What's, ba what's baby boy? Baby oil. Baby oil. Oil. baby oil. He put baby oil on you and then he beat you with a wire? How long ago was that? Not too long ago. I still got marks. Where? On Where? my legs, on my back. Show us the, show us the marks. <laughs> Why are you with this animal? You guys make it sound really easy to just get up, pack your stuff, you know? Grab the keys, walk out the door, and leave it. How, how tough is it to do that, honestly? It's pretty tough. You got a better chance if you leave and get yourself in some sort of safe haven. We're going to let you go with a citation. Sabrina, why don't you think about some of these things, OK? We're done with it, right? All right, Sabrina. Go back. Think about what we're saying, all right? Uh, she's uh, obviously very scared, and uh, 
she hasn't reached that point yet uh, where uh, she uh, needs to hit rock bottom. And it might take uh, another beating or two, and I know that's uh, you know difficult to say, but it's realistic. And uh, maybe after that uh, final beating where she's near death, then she'll turn on him and we'll be able to do something with her. This is an example of the you know frustrating uh, situations that we encounter in Vice, but it's, it's reality. Being a police officer it can be dangerous at times. Not so much getting shot at or dealing with things like that. There's potential for being assaulted or injured, but I think the biggest chance of getting injured lies in driving a car around for eight hours at a time. I'm going to stop this vehicle. Didn't use his turn signal twice back there on the last two streets when he ran through the stop sign, so we'll see what he has to say. Hello, sir. Okay. We just had an individual armed with a large caliber pistol run from an officer. Go to the garden. If you'll stay right in there, I'll back up to him. We're going to be in the area and see if we can help locate him. Leave it to left and it's unmarked here. What they're doing now is setting up a perimeter to see if they can contain him in here. They got the helicopter and the canine unit in route. As soon as they get here, maybe we can get him back on view. Yeah, he's south of Barry. Yeah, he's south of Barry. Go on, click on. Hey, Matt's going to take, Matt's sitting on the perimeter on Mansfield. I'm going to run down here. Be careful. He, he had a, uh, we seen an extra magazine in his back pocket. And I said, hey, guys, stop. And he went for his, the back, because I said, what, I said, watch, uh, watch what he's got in his back pocket. Come from the front, he's carrying like a Tech 9, and he was running. What a. Uh, He's got a blue and white vertical stripe. Yep, blue but and white. How tall is he? Oh, uh, he's about five nine. Shorts or pants? Shorts. Steve, would you say probably best guess on where he went is probably right somewhere here. right around in here? Yeah, I can see there's a fence all the way along here. Yeah. And you would, you would have seen well, it. Right, right when he got to right there and went around that tree, and I came up on him and he did. I was right on him, I'm telling you, right when he came around that bush. You don't think he, he could have cut this way? There's no way, because I, I came straight up and I veered that way, and I didn't see anybody running up through there. Yeah, he's going to be. I don't think there's any way. I mean, either either he cut through the woods to the back of these houses over there, or he's in all that crud right there. Yeah, we see, because, OK, I was right about where that car, the police cars are, running on foot. Yeah. He was right about here. OK. A car, my partner came flying up. He cut immediately to the right. He didn't have time to get over here. Because I you pulled know. straight up and looked straight up the street. He wasn't up he the wasn't street. Up He's got to be right around. But he was running. He probably went a, in right around in here. He had like one of the 30 round Tech 9 magazines in his back pocket. Tech 9. Right? Okay. So. We're taking him into custody on Glen Garden right now. We're taking him into custody. Right, how far away from the unit target? We're just north on Glen Garden in the, of where the cars are at the intersection with Hillsdale.
Oh, he was only he's only about six foot off the road right there. Just hiding in the bushes. Get up in there? Yeah. Dump again? Yeah. It's, it's, the gun's gonna be inside there. He wasn't too happy about canine going in and Brad starts calling out, you know, forward please canine, come out or we'll send the dog. And you hear, come over here. He decides to come out, so now we gotta try to find the gun. I don't know why he wouldn't have dumped it across Barry, because I yelled, gun, he's got a gun, and you know. It's like a treasure. <laughs> <laughs> he's not gonna get rid of it until the last minute. Well, I don't know, maybe a cig I would have kept, but. Oh, he's, he's got, got the gun. Yeah, well, here's his Tech 9 that he was running with. Earlier at the same apartment complex, we had a shots fired call. It was supposed to be uh, four or five black males dressed Aglan. Like, so there was one in the chamber? Yeah. yeah, there was one in the chamber. Oh, yeah. He, he had that where? In his back pocket? Or no, he had that in his waistband. He had a magazine in his back pocket. He had it in his waistband, and basically, we came up behind him, and in his right back pocket, he has a magazine, and... I don't know if it was a magazine that actually went in the gun. See the magazine, we tell him to, you know, stop, and he takes off running. As we cross, coming up on Barry next to that gas station, I see him pull it out. He's got it in his left hand running with it. And that's a pretty menacing thing, running. And uh, he switches over to his right hand and runs up here, and apparently he dumped it right here. But And I'll tell you what. That's a good lick, guys. Good eye. This thing right here, had he turned good around. Good it. Thank you. He could have had a heck of a firefight on us. That was a good job, guys, chasing them and recovering the weapon. The nice thing about the south side is most of the folks that I patrol are, are good, hardworking people who are just wanting to protect their, their property and their and be safe in their own neighborhoods. And my being able to come out here and address that 10% group that causes, you know, 90% of my problems, it just it just gives me a lot of variety and it makes the day go by pretty quick. Well, we're going to be responding to a call for police reference a domestic dispute. Individuals calling and stating he's having problems with his wife and request police. Let's see here. Okay. What can I do for you today, sir? Okay. Yes, sir. I live here with my wife and my children. Okay. Her children are over vision. Uh, her husband has custody of her children. Oh, by the way, you gonna tell them what you just told me? If they no, come here, I'm going to jail because I choked you and what? Huh? Did you go in there and choke ahead, yourself now? Ahead, Did you go ahead, choke man. yourself now? Together, you're so anyway, go right up there. So I called uh, to see if y'all get here. Actually, I told her I was gonna leave, take my children and leave. Uh, because we were not getting along too well. <laughs> And uh, so then she comes out, she's going to stop me about throwing plants on my car and stuff. I'm trying to get the children in the car. Okay. And then... Uh, no, I kicked it after he choked me. I'm telling you, after he choked me and hit me, I, I kicked what you the body and on his car. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> my babies were with me the entire time no, until after I called John, no, I said, right here on this porch waiting on you. No, she pulled the prize just before. You know, if you call a cop, you're going to jail because I'm going to have marks on me. She bit herself one time on both arms. I said, now that's going to look pretty funny. When the cops get here, it's the same place on both arms. Okay, if you wait just here, I'm gonna go talk to her. What's okay. her name? Stephanie. Stephanie. Shot 17, go ahead. Mind if I come in? I'll be out. 2027. Stephanie, right? Yes. What's going on? coming home from work acting like a total ass. I had his dinner fixed. I've had the kids all day, and he gets up and says he's going to take three of the kids and leave the house. Okay, I said, why don't you take them all? I've had them all day. Why don't you take them all? And he just started a big freaking argument and went out and got in his car and took three of the kids. And so before, when we he got out of the car, because I got a rock, and I said, I'm going to, I'll bust the windshield if you take off, try to take off. I don't have no car, no money. My car isn't running. So he gets in, he comes in the house, and then I tried to, when he went out the door, I went to grab his hand, and he grabbed me by the neck and grabbed my arm and said, you know, that he'd do any thing he pleased. Okay. Upset all these kids. It's crazy. Okay. All right. Well, he's, of course, alleging something else, of course, right? I know he always does. Okay, I'm going to go out and talk to your other half for a few minutes.
Clyde? Yes, sir. Clyde, why don't you give me a rundown of how this came to pass? How it came to I'm, pass? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just okay. going to I come home from work. Okay. And uh, this was kids for me, so I'm going to lay down because I had a long day. I worked for Southwestern Bell. Mm-hmm. Lay down in bed. Uh, when did she say that about you choking her? Uh, probably, hell, it was less than five minutes from the time y'all pulled up. I was sitting on a swing. She comes to the door. Says, please come to my house. You're going to jail because I'm. You're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna tell me. So you, you didn't touch her at all. No, swear to God. I mean, had, I, I never had, my entire life hit a woman. Were you out here in the yard the whole time when all uh, this was? I was on the fourth swing. Okay. She said, "Okay, we we'll just take kids and leave." So I got my two two of them had gone to the back. My baby come out with me, and I was gonna go get the other two. She would come out around the door. And said, get your ass down the apartment to my six year old child, which mm-hmm. she does frequently. And so he just took off running because he's afraid she's gonna hurt him. Mm-hmm. Well, she doesn't really, she beat him one time, and I told him, threatened to call the law then. Uh, I'm taking him to the hospital, but I didn't. Because uh, okay. he begged me not to. And so he took off running down the apartment, and uh, so I got out of the car. She took off running down with him, so I thought, well, I'll just call the police right here. So I walked in the house, got on the phone. Well, she had the phone out of the back from the court, she picked up and listened in. I told the lady when I called in, I said, well, she's on the line now. Are you, if I choked her, believe me, she would have some marks, buddy. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, she she's got two little marks and a mark on her arm. Oh, she's threatened me with this many times before. I'm not real sure. I'm gonna go run over the neighbors. And maybe. The did you guys? Did you guys see what happened over? I just drove up. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. She's inside. Do you want to talk to her? Yeah. See if you can shag the kids outside, okay. and I'll try to talk to them without her being there. Right. You never touched her at any time. No. Okay. And you stayed outside the whole time? Yes. Well, just when you went inside yes. to make the call for 911, that was it? Yes, sir. I'm not making out that. I okay. mean, do y'all, let me ask y'all a question. Do you always just believe whatever the female tells you? No, no, that's why we're sitting here. I, I asked the kids first. And... I was just curious. Wouldn't you think if I was, do you think she just lay there and let me do something to her without a red mark somewhere on my body? Well, I don't know. That's what we're going to work out. All right. Let me go talk to the other officer. radio just went down, P.I.C. Uh, I'm going to wrap the car and run her real quick. Okay. Does he have any marks or anything like that? Not a, not a lick. He's saying he never went inside the house but once, and he's been outside the whole time, so. Okay. So I'm going to shoot. I'm going to go run her real quick. Okay. I'm going to go see if do I can find Do you have his ID? Yes, I do. Thanks. Where did all this happen at? What? Where, where he grabbed a hold of right you. Here. Okay. How, just a little while ago, I'm assuming? Yeah, just before he got back in the car the second time to take off. Were the kids in the house then? The or? kids I put in the garage apartment because I didn't want them to be involved in any of this. Okay? It's happened a couple of times before. I just haven't ever called the police. Okay? Okay. This time he thought he was going to turn the little tables this time and call the police on me. Okay? He does this. He says he's going to do it all the time. And finally he did it. I got to go. I don't feel comfortable with placing this man under arrest right now. Uh, as the victim was showing me her wounds, uh, she was grabbing them, and, and they matched up identically. That that bothers me. Uh, there were a few other things that occurred while I was inside that kind of bothered me about arresting him. I've spoken with some character witnesses that uh, say this is just not him, that they've seen her uh, in the past react a little more aggressively towards him than he ever has her. Right. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to ask him to leave for the night, and. Uh, He's not to return till tomorrow, of course, when everything's cooled down, and we'll let detectives decide if they want to issue a warrant for his arrest. Right. Other kids gave us count that just didn't match up with what was going on, and the fact that she kept throwing stuff at his car and stuff. You know, if he was going to assault her, it would have happened out here while he was. She was throwing stuff at the car, and not wait till she got in the house. Yeah, it just doesn't add up.